Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Tomba for the Sony PlayStation 1, also known as Tombi in Europe. This is one of the more beloved 2D games on the platform, believe it or not. There's a lot to see and do here. It was a 2D game that came out for the system during a time when 3D games were not only the norm, but were more or less being forced on the masses. Like, Sony wanted 3D games for their platform. Somehow, this one made it out of Japan and made it over to the West. And I've actually played this game before but only the demo that was around the time, which encompassed the beginning of the game all the way up until you meet the Dwarf Elder. I completed as much of that as I could back in the day, but I never got the full game. Turns out there's a reason for that. There was not a big print run of this game. And because of that, the game didn't sell well enough to get a Greatest Hits re-release over here in the States or in Europe and therefore physical copies of this game run a pretty high price. Other than that, I really don't know what else to say here other than that I will be using a little bit of notes for this game. I have issue 50 of EGM2 next to me and I'm also taking notes from a let's play that shows and completes all the objectives from Zonic T Hedgehog so I got that going on and are you kidding me I can't start the game Good grief, it's like the game won't let me start the game if I let this whole thing run. Be right back. All right, let's go ahead and start this game now. Apparently I had to reset the emulator for whatever reason. Good grief. That was weird. And, after we start the game, we get a brief cutscene where we land over here in front of this mansion. 
Hey, you with the pink hair. Yeah, there's a guy with a straw hat on that roof there. Weird. I've never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. Well, if you need any info, go to the small hut on top of that hill up ahead. This crazy old geezer lives up there, but he should be able to help you out. Before you go, be sure to check all the signs on the way. The local visitors bureau did a great job in supplying helpful info for visitors. To read the signs, press up on the directional button and the square button. I know that's supposed to look, well, I know that kind of looks like a circle button, but it's really the square button. You can kind of tell by the brighter color there, but still easy to get that computer circle. By the way, what is with the pink hair anyway? Uh, never mind, I don't want to know. See ya. And we get our first objective, the 100-year-old wise man. So the story so far, from the initial cutscene that we got when we started the game, we're Tomba. We're this guy with pink hair and green pants. We pretty much live in the wild and roam the wild in search of adventure and food. I'm assuming. And along the way, we saw some guy in a wooden cart get hassled by some evil pigs. We fought these evil pigs, but we got knocked out by a tree branch in the process, and they also stole our gold bracelet. So now we've got to get that back. And we're going to be doing a lot of adventuring along the way. So... We have two kinds of signs here. We have this dark brown wooden sign. This tells us where we are. The village of all beginnings. Save data? Yes. Let's do that. And I'm just going to go ahead and save over the practice file that I did before I started this game. Before I started this Let's Play, rather. Whenever you see a sign like this, the, like the one to my left, use that to save your game whenever you need to. And this sign you can also read for a message. To whom it may concern, please stop stealing my mail. If you continue your villainous acts, I cannot be responsible for what might happen. Best regards, mansion proprietor, whoever that may be. And when we approach this tree, this monkey just leaps up to the top of it. Also, we beat up a pig. And filled up a little bit of a gauge. I will explain this gauge for later. Jonas, just know that for now, it is important and imperative to attack and defeat enemies whenever we can. So that way, we can get AP. Speaking of AP, I might as well go ahead and talk about the heads-up display in this game. On the upper left-hand corner is your health. We only have four hit points. When If we lose all of our hit points, we will lose a life. Speaking of our lives, our lives are down in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Definitely don't want to get those beyond zero. And I'll explain that a little bit later. On the upper right-hand corner is our AP. The more that we get, the more we can do things sometimes, I guess. Basically, you want to get AP whenever you whenever you can. You can get that from defeating enemies. You can get that from completing tasks. And if you have a high enough AP, you can do specific things. Also, by reaching specific AP values, you can also get extra lives. So keep that in mind. So, the controls. Left and right lets you move left and right. X lets you jump. And circle lets you use the blackjack. Next to your health meter is the current weapons you have equipped. You can press circle to attack with the blackjack, and if you hold circle, you can also charge it up for a quicker, stronger strike. Also, you can grab on the ledges just by leaping into them. You can press up or forward. Actually, you have to press up to pull yourself up. And if you press down while hanging off a ledge, you'll drop down. Exercise routine one, branch swings. Jump and grab the tree branch with the palms of your hands. While hanging from the tree branch, hold left or right on the directional button to swing. 
The dismount, hold the direction you wish to jump, and press the X button to jump off the branch. You can not only jump left and right off a branch, but you can also jump straight up too. Also, let me see if I can do this. Let me, let me see if I can get this guy angry at us. Let me see if we can unstun him. Let me see if he'll come after us. Yeah, he'll come after us. There we go. That is not a thing that you should know how to do at the beginning of the game. But if we can jump onto him. We can get a baby pig. So the frog that I got earlier. There are these little purple plants on the ground. Let me see if I can find them. Well, you can see them right there in the background. You can attack those with the circle button to destroy them. And right here is where I found the frog. By jumping on the frog, we were able to leap onto the frog. And by jumping again, we were able, we were able to put them on our back. We will need to take the frog home. Hence why we got an objective called Take Me Home. Am I approaching this door? We get to see the man in the straw hat again. Oh, heading off to the old man's hut already. Unfortunately, the fog is so thick up ahead that you can't see a thing. Looks like we'll have to turn around. Do you dye your hair or is it naturally pink? Never mind. If only I had my nature's survivalist mail order catalog. I'm sure there would be something I could order out of there to get rid of this fog. Oh well, bye. And I doubt we see that guy again. Yeah, some help he is. And I want to hit this bird and throw the bird into a wall just by jumping and then jumping again on the on the bird and then jumping again. Also, by jumping onto the egg here and jumping again to throw it, we can throw the egg down and find a chick. We grab the chick the same way that we grab the frog and the baby pig that we got earlier. So the baby pig, this plant that looks like a butt produces smoke when you grab onto it, this weird little yellow powder, and if the yellow powder hits a, it's an evil pig enemy, it'll shrink it down. You can then jump onto the pig to catch it, and then press jump again to put it in your pocket, and you now have a baby pig. I forgot to, to mention this. I should probably mention this. Exercise routine two, wall climbs. Press up on the directional button and the X button to, to jump on a background wall. Climb up the wall to explore the background area. To return to the start position, just do the opposite. So hold up in front of a background wall, press X, you'll automatically climb up. Hold down, press X, you'll then drop down. Also, if I go into this area, I will lose the frog, don't worry, we will get him again. The frog will run away. But if you go over here, there's this weird little go-kart here, and if you go further to the right, you get a cutscene. We won't be able to go here until a little bit later. For now, though, let's just go back and take care of some more things. So, the fog from earlier. We can go up to it. But we will have to clear it. Clear the fog. And by the way, that 500 underneath the objective clear the fog name, that means you'll get 500 AP for completing it. AP, I'm pretty sure, it stands for adventure points. Use an item to blow away the fog. Something windy just might do the trick. So you won't be able to go past this fog no matter what you do. So we saw a little bit of a tornado in the mailbox near the... Where, near where we began, we need to go up to the mailbox and get that tornado. Also, there's another sign here. Exercise routine three, weapon workout. Hold down the circle button to swing your weapon. Okay, so the circle button actually looks like a circle in these messages. Good to know. If you swing your weapon really fast, the attack will be more powerful. As I've mentioned before. Also, I jump on these for a reason. Just remember to jump on these things every time you see them and... Eventually something good will happen, but not until later in the game. Also, I am picking up fruit. The fruit gives you AP, but it also 
refills one he one hit point. Anyway, you can hit the mailbox with the blackjack, which is your current weapon, and you'll be carried over here, and you'll get the furious tornado. Also, that little stone, when we, or this weird looking column, or whatever it is, when we jump on it, water comes out when we stand on it. Remember that for later. Also, we can just go over here. Not sure why, but we can. Also, as much as I would like to be able to jump on the mailbox, I can't do that. But we can go back and forth between these two areas whenever we want. Also, while we're here, there is a tree branch. And we somehow managed to grab onto it. You kind of have to jump into the middle of the tree, then let go of the control pad, and let Choma drop down. There is a chance you will grab the branch. You can swing while you hang from a tree branch. Press and hold left or right on the directional button to swing. To swing in opposite direction, hold the opposite direction on the directional pad. So we can swing left or right. Oh. Press the X button to jump while holding the direction on the directional button if you wish to jump. The length of the time you press the button determines the distance you can jump, not the timing. So we can just hold up and press X or hold X whenever we want and we'll go up here where this monkey was. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Is it sir, the square? Yeah, it's square. Leave me alone. I haven't eaten all day and your pink hair is giving me a headache. And that gives us another objective, a hungry monkey, 1,000 AP. We'll be able to complete that momentarily for now. Let's go ahead and I guess we can get the frog back this way. Hey. Okay. So jump on the frog to catch him. Jump a second time, then jump a third time to throw. Or in this case, put the frog in your pocket. And the fog's back. Now it's time to learn how to use items. Press select. You will get a menu. There's the map, which shows where you are in position with the rest of the world. Right now we are at the village of at the village of all beginnings. And we can go to our item menu, our event me menu, our status, and the map screen from here, but we can exit. I'll show up the rest of the select screen menu. There's status, which shows our experience points for defeating enemies, our current AP, our hit points, our lives, and we seem to have a normal status, I guess. And it shows where we are as well. Event lets us show off all the things we have to do and what we have already done. So far we have a couple of events unlocked. You can view them all and see them all. Just go down to view, press X, and then you can use the L1 and R1 buttons to go through the pages. And if you have an event highlighted, you can press X to read it. Grandpa's bracelet. Find the bracelet stolen by the coma pigs. That one we start with at the beginning of the game. The other ones that we've seen, we get as we progress throughout the game. There are 17 whole pages worth of events here, and I'm going to try to get all of them. I think there's 130 in all, and I definitely want to get 100% on those. There's also Motocross Course, the bumpy road beyond the fence. We won't be going there until a little bit later. And we also got Peach Flower Gas. If we completed an event, it will be in black, and you will get a picture next to it. Other events that you have not yet completed will be in red. Let's press circle to exit out, circle to exit out again, and then I'll finally show off the item menu. 
Here you can use items, you can view items, and you can also sort your items. Let's go ahead and view the items that we have so far. Frog, a frog that can't find its way home, or his way home, rather. Furious Tornado, a Furious Tornado that can blow anything away. Chick, a newly hatched chirping chick. Baby Pig, a coma pig that shrank from the peach flower gas. And we have the Blackjack, which is the weapon that we start with. The weapon you always carry with you. And Normal Pants, which we also start with. Your favorite pair of pants. You will find other weapons and pairs of pants throughout the game. Now that we know how to view items, let's go ahead and press circle and then select use item. Near the fog, use Furious Tornado. Press X to go to use item, then highlight Furious Tornado. Press X on Furious Tornado, and you will use the Furious Tornado to clear away the fog. And we have cleared our first objective, clear the fog, which gives us 1,000 AP. I'm going to go ahead and grab this fruit because I can. And from here, I want to leap off the edge here. We clash onto a wall, press up and down to climb up and down a wall. We definitely want to stay away from these plants, whatever we do these little white plants that look like they could be teeth because they actually are look going to look like teeth and if you get hit while the frog is on your back the frog will run away thankfully you can always leave and come back and you can get the frog again just by destroying some plants and finding the frog again also there's a chest here there are several kinds of chests in the game we won't be able to uh, open any of them right now and I do not want to be bitten by anything here, really. Well, I've lost two hit points. I guess this allows me to show something off. We have another save sign. Let's go ahead and use it. And let's go ahead and overwrite the game. Let's overwrite our save file here. Let's go ahead and back out. And from here, you can press start. You get a different menu when you press the start button. You can either exit the current game that you're playing, or you can load a save file anytime you want. You do get a confirmation as to whether you or not you want to load a game. Now, I have two hit points. But if I load from where I just saved from, watch this. Waiting for the game to load back up any second now. You'll be able to get all of your hit points back. The game does not save exactly how many hit points you had when you saved. So you can save, load your the game you just saved back up. And you can get... Really? Um... I was trying to get the frog game, thanks a lot. I really need to probably hit those plants from the left. Can't believe I'm doing this again. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. Then let's try not to get hit again. Also, this gem gives us 500 AP. There's another egg that we need to break. Let's go ahead and grab the chick there. There's a door here. We won't be able to open it until a little bit later. Also, we can jump on these and climb on them. Let's go ahead and... What?
What? I did not know you could do that. So apparently, I knocked the fruit off that tall plant there. And the plant ate it. And it became a harmless flower. What? Well, while we have this now, an unusual flower that blooms from the biting plant. I don't remember ever seeing this as I was taking notes on this game. Or maybe I have and it's just been a while. Well, anyway, there's another building here, and there's a guy we can talk to. Believe it or not. What? You found me already? I was trying to hide from you. Well, since you found me, I'll give you a little hint. To the right of me, behind this hut, there's a little pond. If you go up the hill above here, you can meet this crazy old coot. He's supposed to be some wise 100-year-old man, but he just seems to mumble a lot to me. Who are you? 1000 AP. Who am I? Never mind that. Go see the places I just told you about and we'll talk again later. And from here, we just automatically go past him to this place. This is, which is the old pond. This is where we need to take the frog, by the way. I'll go ahead and do that. And by walking up the pond, we clear the take me home objective and we get two extra lives for bringing the... Bringing the frog back home. I forgot what I wanted to say there as I was trying to concentrate on saving my game. I definitely want to save these lives. The game does save how many lives you have. So keep that in mind. So anyway, we're now at the old pond. And if you press up here at this AP box, you get the AP box, 1,000 AP. You need 100,000 AP before you can go up to this box and open it. Once you open it, you'll be able to get some cool stuff and you'll be able to clear the AP box objective. Also, when you approach this shell, Toma will take a ride on it to the other side, where there's this fisherman guy. You want to get past me? <laughs> Can you swim? Well, that wasn't very nice. This triggers the I can't swim objective. <laughs> I thought so. Mr. Turtle saved you this time, but next time you may not be so lucky. You can't go past the door here unless you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it yet. Come back after you learn how to swim. Hey, you hungry? Why don't you take this with you? And we get the bananas from this guy, so not all bad. See you later. Much later. <laughs> well, at least he helped us out somehow, but still, did he really have to do that? Well, we're going to have to learn how to swim, and we won't be able to do that until later on in the game. Let's go ahead and leave the old pond. And, okay, the guy we talked to is still there. By the way, if you go past this building with the frog, the frog runs away. And you will have to get the frog again. Which means you have to re reset this area, basically. Also, there is another egg. Which has another chick inside. What are we, how are we doing for items? Okay. We have everything that we can get so far. Let us go ahead and go over here. Don't want to go over there just quite yet. And I need to remember that there's an evil pig here. Is there anything else that I can do? Not really. Doesn't seem that way. I'm going to jump on these things again. Well, I was about to say before I needed to hit those plants. I'm going to jump on these one more time. And then we are going to go over to right here. Oh, that's right. Now I remember what I wanted to do. Also, you guys came back. And we have gotten the red experience gauge to level 3. I will mention... Really? 
I will mention what the experience bars are for in due time. Different enemies give you different experience, different types of experience, red, blue, and green. And the different experiences, the different experience bars will power up different things. That's pretty much all I can say for now. I don't want to get want to make it too complex and go into things that I don't want to get into yet. Right. Now I remember what I wanted to do. I want to go back up to the tree where the monkey is. That's what I wanted to do. And you... I want you out of my way. And you too. Okay. Sometimes I can grab this... This branch, sometimes I can't. There we go. I was I was not jumping low enough. Alright. Let's... Wrong button. Let's use the bananas in front of the monkey. So that way we can give this guy some food. Wow, you'll give me your bananas? Thanks. You're not so bad after all. I was so hungry I couldn't move. My name's Charles. I know what I can do for you. I'll teach you a trick, okay? Press this, the square button and the directional button together to run. It's called the Animal Dash. You got it, kid? The square button and the directional button. Well, gotta go. And we not only completed a Hungry Monkey, we also got the Animal Dash. So hold, hold square, move around. You can do not only a run, you can not only run, but you can also do a running jump too. I'm going to go ahead and save my game here. Also, how the heck do I have seven lives now? Maybe I got them off of points. And I just didn't pay attention or something. That's probably what did it. So anyway. Let us go ahead. And get back over to here. And thankfully, this jump is a little easier to do now. All right, let's get rid of them. Thankfully, there is no Coca Bird here. We need to swing over the spikes. There are spikes here. And we need to make sure that Tomba's hands grab onto the branches here. And there are some hidden gems here. We got a thousand off of those. Can I grab that from here or no? No, I can't. You want to be very careful doing this because that can happen. And I don't want that to happen. Need to hold up and right here. Need to hold left here. Pull up and right on the jump. It doesn't seem like there's anything past that branch, but I do want to find out if there is. Good grief. This can still be harrowing. Come on! Is there health here? I forgot to go get. Well, there's a shortcut here. Might as well take it. But yeah, you can either get here with the branches or you can take the lower path. Get, depending on how you want to do stuff. Yeah, we can just get here with the branches. But I might as well show off the alternate path just to be safe. 
I mean, we've already swung to that branch already. Is there anything over here? I doubt there is. Oh! There is. I will get these gems after this chest. We won't be able to unlock it yet. So now that that's over and done with, I'm just going to take the faster, more dangerous route. Try not to land on the spikes there. And from here, we can just climb some background walls and make our way over to here. Thankfully, you can aim your blackjack upwards just by holding up and using the circle button there. And now, let's go ahead and get the fourth and final chick. Spoiler alert, there's only four checks. 50,000 on that AP ring, huh? Let's see if we can actually do something about that. I wonder if we can. Well, actually, no. I'm, I've been recording for l far longer than I wanted. And so, because of that, I'd rather just leave the AP alone and go to this sign. 100-year-old man's hut. Save data? Yes, we will do that. Let's go ahead and save our game here because I want to save all the progress that I've just made. That was amazing. I've gotten a couple of lives already. All right, we did quite a bit in the first video of this Let's Play. I don't know how long this is going to go, but we've only just begun this one, and I can't wait to play more of this game. So join me next time where we go into the 100-year-old man's hut and explore more of the game. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!